Once again, with us here across the area, temperatures starting off in the teens. We're at 13 in Bel Air, 14 in Towson, 16 for you this morning in Glen Burnie, also coming in at 16 this morning out towards Preston. Temps? Not as bad as what we had yesterday morning, and yesterday our high temperature was only in the mid-20s, officially 24 BWI. That actually tied a record. Today, slightly warmer. We'll be climbing into the low 30s here later on today. We do have a fair amount of clouds moving through the area. We'll see some sunshine as we head throughout the course of the day, but also some scattered flurries going to be moving out and about there as well. Something to keep in mind, but not a big deal. We'll see accumulating snow for the day tomorrow. Temperatures, as mentioned this afternoon, climbing into the low 30s. Normal high temperature in the low 40s, so 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year, and it continues to stay cold and below average as we head through the next seven days. High pressure is in control, and that's going to allow for some sunshine as we head throughout the course of the day today. Clockwise flow around that high pressure system still pulling our air in from the northwest, so that's why we'll continue to see those cold conditions across the region today. We are watching our next system now work its way across the Midwest. That is going to be bringing in the opportunity for some light snow as we head throughout the day tomorrow and then reinforcing cold behind it. That'll allow our temperatures as we ring in the new year to only be in the 20. So really struggling here the next couple of days in the temperature department. Future cast pretty quiet for the day today. We do have some sunshine on our side, but flurries also going to be scattered out and about. Better snow chances though as we head throughout the course of the day tomorrow. Here we are 8 a.m. snowing across the entire area. So something to watch out for road temperatures below free freezing, so everything will be sticking here across the area. We're not looking at a lot of accumulation, but enough to cause some problems for you as you do head out and about. Behind this system, breezy conditions will kick up the lake effect snow machine again, so we'll see some streamers as we head throughout the day, uh, the afternoon on Saturday, and we could even see a few of those snow streamers work their way into central Maryland. So how much snow are we talking? Not a lot. Areas north and west of the city going to be where we'll see the hustle locations as we head throughout the course of the day tomorrow. So something to watch out for. Slip conditions definitely going to be found as you do head out and about. Behind it, reinforcing cold. Sunday, 24, and we'll ring in 2018. The high temperature on Monday of just 23. Lauren? Thanks, Adrian. If you're traveling in Baltimore, you need to be aware of a crash on Harford Road right now.